Since I've been your EIP since 2013, I really love shopping at your site. Can you tell me, like, how do you keep your leading position? We make sure we have Lisa Aiken, our fashion director, and we have um, an associate market director as well. And basically, we have to go everywhere. So we go to every single fashion week. So obviously, the main ones, it's, you know, New York, uh, London, Milan, Paris, but then also we send people to Seoul, to Sydney, to Copenhagen, uh, Stockholm. This time is the first time we're sending someone to Tbilisi for the Georgia um, Fashion Week. So literally, like you have to be. Like, we figured you just have to be everywhere, just to make sure that we see everything new, meet young designers, and, and um, just have to be really like on the pulse all the time. Okay, oh my yeah. gosh. And yeah. your schedule must be so crazy. Yeah, well, they're, they're, we spread out, so not everyone does everything. Right. You yeah, just yeah, mentioned yeah. like how many like members in your group and how many pieces you need to pick from oh, all the world. Pieces. I mean, we, we carry, I can't even tell you how many collections, but we know because it's every category. So contemporary, everything in ready to wear, all the way to beach wear, to ski wear, and then in, in accessories, it's everything down to hairpins, you know, and sunglasses. Um, and beauty's been growing. Yes, I want to ask for that. As well. like, yeah, beauty's been a super important category for us. And it keeps growing. I mean, our skin care, especially, and hair care have been super strong. So. I bought the Bone Mangs one on your website. It's oh, for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. like, I wonder, like, um, are there any differences, like, in between you buy from the Asian market versus the uh, UK market versus the Asian market? Like, I would say, obviously, usually it is in sizing. So, I mean, always, you know. Uh, again, it's all the sizes always vary, but obviously you're going to make sure you skew a little bit on the smaller sizing for Asia sometimes. And I think about being a, in different areas are a little more, you know, uh, I think the, the Korean market is very avant-garde, um, very advanced. I think, you know, I think, and the Chinese customer has really evolved from being more logo driven to really wanting to find new. So they're really, really, um, uh, have embraced our kind of new, what we call our contemporary collective, which mm -hmm. is these kind of advanced contemporary brands out of Europe. Um, and, you know, and then of course you always have to have your super fashion pieces, because I think, you know, Asian customer loves like, well, you know, yeah. like your statement key power brand, you know, pieces. So they have like yeah. huge, like, buying power. Exactly. Like that, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and like, you just said like, you have like, taken the beauty. So I just wonder like, since Nadaporte is well known for the great fashion, like, but you also take the beauty. Is that the, um, focus category like for you for the beauty right now? I would say it, it's something that started, I mean it's, it's been relatively small but it has grown and it's definitely a focus. I think also the customer today it's like so much like you can't just like look good in your clothes it's all about your skin and your hair and your makeup and I think oh, so it's all part of your look and you know so beauty is very important and we're finding customers really love to experiment with us so they're finding a lot of new brands through us. Nadaporte is an online retailer, so I was scared about like how do you develop a relationship to your clients and come to understand them. We have a customer relations team that just develops new customers, works with current customers, and we do a lot of events and special experiences. So our top customer is called the extremely important person. Yeah, so you're probably, you, I hope you're one. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so this customer is our sort of most valued customer and we want to try and always give her experiences that money can't even buy. So sometimes it's, you know, going to the opera or sometimes it's being uh, walking through an exhibition before it even opens with the curator of the museum or going to a special you know, sports game funny. or, you know, we just sent some uh, customers to the Alta Moda event in, Dolce, you know, in New York for Dolce & Gabbana, even though obviously we don't do couture, but it's, it was an amazing experience. I just came back from Miami where I did a dinner with Sylvia Trossi, a designer from Colombia, with a lot of EIP clients. I mean, kind of, there are a lot of these throughout the year and I try to go as, to as many as possible, but I can't go to all. And then and actually, love you being there. Well, I'm leaving on Friday to do Shanghai, Beijing, Singapore, and Hong Kong. So, yeah. My yeah. trip. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate yeah. so much for yeah. spending the time with us. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much my questions. I hope I have more yeah. when you have time. Yeah. yeah. No, great. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank yeah. you.